So let's talk about Gen Z and this device, right? Okay, can't talk about this without this. How much time in a day spent on a smartphone by Gen Z? Here are the choices. What do you think it's going to be? Same thing. Now, what had just happened in your head was, oh, well, good. Well, the, the biggest line wasn't 10 plus. It's a 1 to 4. Dudes, over 50% are over 5. And 1 out of 4, over 10 hours a day with a smartphone every day. Now, before you get all judgy, <laughs> let's think about this. And let's bring back our little friend here, looking sharp in a bow tie. All right? And what he did to get these activities done. Um, and we're going to compare it to Gen Z. So for to do research, I had to literally go to the library and sit in the reference room of the library. Taking photos, of course, I used a camera. Recording video, I used another camera. And on and on ago, listen to music. I had records, then tapes, then CDs. I made killer mixtapes, killer. And on and on it goes. You get the idea. For every activity, I solved it a different way. If we were to ask Gen Z, you know what they'd say? All of these activities that I had to do over here, they can do with a smartphone. Now, again, before you get judgy, put yourself back there. Who here? at 18, 19, 20, wouldn't do this. Who wouldn't do this? I would do all that. If I could do it from a phone, hell yeah, I would. Um, so there you go. That's my preachy. All right, I'm done. So here are the pro. Oh, gosh. <clears throat> Going through puberty. I'll, I'll get there soon. Um, here are some of the pros uh, about being this connected to a, a smartphone. Also, it's social, 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 I can't say it. Social, social, social. All day long, they understand social media, and they understand connecting with each other. They get it better than anybody else in this room. And there are instant uh, education opportunities. They don't know something, they'll find out about it in about three minutes. They'll figure out how to do it. That leads to the community and collaboration I talked about, and everybody has a voice. Everybody is talking. And that also makes them much more ad savvy. Remember, if their world is here inside of a smartphone, any incoming messages from any other kind of media are, are a little bit more observant. They, they see them a little bit more. And they're, because they've been inside this environment, this digital environment, they see it coming. They see advertising coming. And I dare say, and we'll talk to them this afternoon, advertising is something different than marketing to these folks, a lot more. Here are the cons. Social, 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 same thing. There's a, there's a dark side to all this, especially in your formative teenage years, to be that connected. And the online identity, I shouldn't say can blur. No, it's distinct. There's an online identity and an offline identity. There's an IRL, which stands for in real life. That's my identity over here. And then I have my online identity. And I would dare say there's probably a couple of online identities. And I'll get to that here in a second. Bullying is rampant. You all know, as parents, you would know this. Um, some, I had talked to a Gen Zer, and they said, yeah, it's pretty much like a digital junior high cafeteria. So imagine back in junior high when you were getting beat up by or uh, getting made fun of because you were playing D&D. &D. Imagine what it's like online. 